Unmute, Ann. Oh, there you go. Sorry, Julius. Um, just 11 and 12 overall, and, and the way you guys are doing it, I mean, what, what do you what do you think of what you guys have been able to do over this, this past 12 games? Uh, it's been good. You know, if we, what would we say we want? Um, this is what we have to do. This is the step that we have to take forward, and we can keep building and getting better. Um, so uh, it's good. You know, I'm happy we we're doing it, but we can get better. Uh, Steph Bondi. Because you got um, Jokic next, and um, people think of him as the front runner for MVP now. We keep raising the bar for you. First, it was all star, now it was all NBA. But you've been getting some consideration for MVP. Do you think you belong in that conversation? For sure. Uh, I'm not going to shy away from it. Uh, but for me, it's about getting better from game to game, improving as a player. Uh, you know, I, I'm not focused on it. You know, the praise obviously is great and everything. I'm not focused on it. But uh, for me, I'm not worried about it. So I'm keeping it better, uh, keep leading the team. Uh, from game to game because, you know, like I said before, our team, I uh, feel like we can compete with this anybody. So that's what it's about. Steve Popper. Hey, Julius, did you know that it was uh, today, today was the 10-year anniversary of Derek getting named the youngest MVP? And how crazy is it what he's doing for you guys 10 years later? Uh, I saw it. Uh, like they post somebody post highlights or something. I saw it. Uh, you know, it is crazy. Um, you know, his MVP ever. Uh, but how he's matured and evolved as a player is uh, an incredible thing to see as well. So uh, for him to go through everything that he's gone through in his career, uh, to be where he is now, says a lot about who he is as a person. So uh, it's been great. Mike Borkinoff. Julius, uh, you mentioned the maturation for him. Like, what have you noticed? I mean, he was the MVP before you were even in the league, and now he's still playing, you know, yeah. really high level, right? Um, what have you taken away from the way that he plays, <laughs> the way that he plays, all those types of things that he does to before he even gets on the court? Uh, he just plays the win. He plays the game the right way. Uh, he knows who he is as a player. Um, you know, he knows how to get to the spots. Uh, I think he's even more skilled now than maybe he was back then. Um, you know, so he knows how to get to his spots. He knows how to finish well around the rim, uh, get in the paint, um, and find, you know, guys. He knows everybody is on the floor. So, uh, you know, he's still a great player. People take it for granted, but he's still a great player. Last question, Jonathan Macri. Hey, Julius. Um, just as far as the three-point shooting this year, do you get a sense that when you hit some of these – um, more audacious threes, like the one in the corner tonight, that it's a pick-me-up for the rest of your team, and, and do you kind of get a sense that that's coming? Uh, I don't know if it's a pick-me-up, <laughs> but uh, it's a shot that uh, opens a lot of things up, not just for myself, but uh, for my teammates. So, uh, I take the wins there. I don't try to force it. Uh, I'm comfortable uh, taking it. And, you know, it's just a testament to the work, so. I don't know if it's a joke enough to answer your question on that. Appreciate you. Uh, tomorrow at the hotel.